this is your host, uh, David Yanez, and you're watching Ignite Your Day. We're excited to see that God is moving in, in a great way and changing things in everyone's lives. And, and I'm excited because I know that God does wonderful, wonderful things uh, for people every time we go out. It's amazing to see how God moves. But I want to talk to you today just something, um, and something more specific. And, and, and we all know the stories in the Word of God that, that Jesus and did some amazing things, but uh, there's there's a couple of stories that I that I liked for this episode, and uh, and and I'll, I'll read a couple of scriptures in, in the second segment. But have you ever noticed how when you come to God, when you come to the Lord, things happen? So I mean, going to visit a minister, traveling through, going to another church, or visit, or knowing that there's an anointing somewhere, and you go and. And you pray not to seek the person, but to seek the miracle that God has for you, to seek God's presence. If you ever notice that, that that something special really happens. I'm reminded of two stories in the Bible. One was the centurion that came to, to Jesus and, and asked him if he would pray for his servant. And Jesus uh, looked at him and said, sure, I mean, I, I will go in a heartbeat. I, I, let's go, let's go do this. He goes, no, 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 no. You just speak the word. Just speak the word. Because as I command an army, so you also command. And he said, oh, man of great faith. You remember that story? It's, a, it's amazing. And, and, but he came to Jesus. He got his miracle. Uh, remember the, young, the man that came to Jesus to pray for his daughter. And he said, he, to Jesus said, let's go. And he started walking. And then he was stopped by another person that came to get prayed for. And the timing was, was bad in a way if you look at it the natural because this lady, young girl's dying, so by the time that Jesus finishes praying this and they're on their journey, uh, the um, the servants come and say, hey, don't bother the master anymore. But that the the lady, your daughter, has passed. And, and Jesus said, she just sleeps. So confident. She just sleeps. He understands the natural and the supernatural. Just, just asleep. And he walked into that house, and when he walked to that house, he... Um, he dismissed everyone that was laughing and said that this is crazy. This that he when he said she just sleeps, and, and he dismissed them all. He went inside the um, inside the uh, in, inside the house and he and he only put believers around him. He only took two disciples with him, I think maybe three, and he, and uh, he he needed people around him that could believe like he could believe. He needed people around him that could understand like he could understand. That understood the language that he was talking in faith, and he went and he sat down and. And I mean, he kneeled down and he prayed over her. And he said, he called her name out to come back. And she came back to life. The reason I bring this up is because I believe that God will raise the dead. I, I believe God will, 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 will honor requests of people that come and seek him. I have a long history of people coming to my meetings from, I'm in Los Angeles, and people flew from, from Nashville and Philadelphia and, and, um, Chicago, all the way, and, and, and Atlanta, they flew all into my, to my services in Los Angeles. I'm in, I'm in Nashville when I'm preaching, and people drive from Alabama, Atlanta, Kentucky, different parts of, Nash, of, of Tennessee just to come to the service. I mean, and then I'm in, recently I was in, a, in, in, where was I? I was in Atlanta, and a young woman jumped on a bus from Chicago just to come in here. No, from Philadelphia, I apologize. From Philadelphia, just to come and get healed. It's amazing when you see this, this kind of things happen and this kind of miracles happen because it's only God that, that will, will do these things and, and draw them. That I believe that centurion was drawn to Jesus. He wasn't just walking to Jesus because he heard Jesus, but I believe that there was a, a draw to him, that he was, he was excited Yes, but also that he felt a connection with the Lord, that I, I just have to get to him. I mean, many times people in the Word, if you look at the lady that was that prayed and said, if I could just, just touch his hem of his garment, if I could just walk near him and just touch that hem, God will heal me. There's a draw in your faith, a draw in your understanding of your situation that it speaks spiritual language. She sleeps, yet we say she's dead. Jesus said she sleeps. And talks spiritual language, saying the impossible 
is not impossible for God. It talks spiritual language by saying it's going to happen when it seems like it's done and it's over. I, I'm praying for a friend right now that I believe that God's going to heal and bring, bring them um, back. They're sleeping. I'm praying and believing. I'm praying and believing right now. I believe the, that the funeral will be the next few days or whatever, but I'm believing. Why? Because I'm excited about God. I know his language. I know what he says to me. And I know that God is with me wherever I go. We've heard that in several of my segments. Wherever I go, God is with me. Now, I look at, I look at the situations of these two people in the Bible, and you, you look at them. They, they were drawn to God. They were drawn to Jesus. From the centurion to the father for his daughter, drawn to Jesus. And the miraculous happened in both of their lives. There's people that have come to my events, um, I, I mean, countless people, one from, I was preaching in Corpus, this is the first time I thought, I really thought it was amazing, was I was in Corpus Christi, Texas, preaching, and a lady flew from Los Angeles, no, from San Diego, apologies, San Diego, flew in from San Diego just to get prayed for. Her friend was with her, and I prayed for her friend as well, she paid for her ticket to fly over, and they flew over, and they were part of the service, and then when they were part of the service, God delivered her friend's request. God, he, God had re held her son released from prison on a technicality, and he was back home when she arrived. Mother's request. Then I was in Hawaii, and the same friend showed up again. The same lady showed up again, by, this time by herself, and we prayed for her. And, and, and it was amazing to see that. But then I started noticing that people were coming from almost everywhere to hear the gospel preach. I'm going to continue this in just a minute. Just going to be excited about what God's about to do and see how God's going to change your life. But uh, thank you for listening tonight. Your day will be right back after these messages. Hi, this is David Gannon. I want to invite you to one of our healing services. Please visit our website. Find out more details. But we have services all over the United States and literally all over the world. We have gone through South Africa, Kenya, India, Mexico, Peru. We are all over the United States, from Los Angeles to Florida, all the way up to Nashville to Wisconsin, all the way down to Texas. We have several services in Texas. Louisiana, we've been there, and we're going back. Nashville, we've been there, and we're going back. Hawaii, we're going back. I want you to go to our website. Find some place that you can get to so we can pray for you. If you can't make it, just believe. Send me a prayer request. I will try my best to answer you. I do text back. I do email back. I do make phone calls back. I do write back. So if you write me personally, call me. I will try my best to get back to you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching our broadcast. Remember, go to our website to find out more details about our healing services. God bless you. Hi, this is David Yannis. I want to thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Today, I want to offer you some very special collections of books that are mine personally that I want to give to you. I'm going to offer you Ignite Your Faith, the book that has been all over the world and has touched people all over the world. It's about healings, miracles, signs and wonders. I'm also going to offer you the CD Ignite Your Faith, which is not an audio book, but three healing services. These healing services have been anointed, blessed, and recorded them in Sid Ross Studios, and many people have been blessed with testimonies of deliverance and healing. And I'm also going to offer you The Recruit, and Almost Out of Grace, my other two books. These are my first two books. Uh, the Recruit's about me when I was in the military and about divine revelation of miracles and healing while I was in there, intervention by God. And Almost Out of Grace is a book about relationships. And both men and women have been so blessed with it that it's touched their lives. We're going to offer this offer. It's called Ignite, offer number 148 for $50 or more. For $50 or more, we're going to send you all four products. You're going to be blessed with them. You're going to be encouraged with them. And most of all, you're going to help move this ministry forward. God bless you. Remember, you can go to our special website. You can go to give us a call or you can write us. Give us a call. Go to our special website or write us. Include, if you write or call, mention 148 or write down 148 Ignite so we know which package to send you. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Welcome back to the show. This is your host, David Yates, and you are watching Ignite Your Day. I hope today we're being a blessing and things are changing in your life. I know for a fact, I know for a fact that God is doing great things, changing people's hearts, changing people's um, 
just situation. Healings are happening. Deliverances are happening. And, and that's my job. That's my job every day to come to you and to give you something that's going to bless you, something that's going to change you, something that's going to even challenge you because I want you to believe. Today we've been talking about how when you come to God, bigger things, greater things can happen. How when you seek Him out, when you try and find Him, greater things can happen. And I, I hope, I hope, I really hope that you, you are grabbing the concept I'm trying to give to you today that if you look at those two stories, the person that came, the centurion that came to Jesus, and also the man that came to Jesus that his daughter died when they were on their journey to her. Those are two amazing stories that you just have to grasp and, and you have to say there's something about coming to the man of God. I encourage you, I travel around the United States, there's um, several places that I'm constantly in, and one of them is Los Angeles, uh, San Diego, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Lebanon, Tennessee, Lebanon, T Tennessee, and Nashville, I go to those, both of those. Um, the other place is um, Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Augusta, Georgia, Greenville, Houston, and Katy. And we're going to be going to Cleveland, Ohio. Those are the places that I going to, I frequently go to. Those are the places that if you're looking for me, I'm there. Now I do go to invitations and stuff people send me. But my focus in the United States are those cities because I'm seeing things happen. I'm seeing powerful movements already happening. Now, I believe, I believe that God can do great things. I believe that power and authority is going to hit whenever I'm at those events. People have come from all over the place to get prayed for. In fact, in Nashville, a lady came up that was suffering from uh, herpes and we in her knee problem. Well, when she was driving home, her knee was healed. She came up to from uh, where was she from? I think she was from um, maybe maybe um, Kentucky, maybe Kentucky. She drove up to to Tennessee. It was during this flood. I mean, it just wasn't a drive to Tennessee, but there was a flood happening. It was one of their worst floods they have in many years. Uh, God, God used that moment to test her faith. She got there just before the storms um, hit again. There was a little break, and she was able to get into the state, and she was able to get to get to our place that we're had in, in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. And God healed her knee on the way home. And then she went to get the doctor's report. She had no more herpes. God had healed that for her. It's an amazing story. But again, it's about coming over, believing God's going to do it, knowing that God's going to change things, trusting God's going to do it, and going by faith. Now, I'm not saying drop everything you got and come to where I'm at. I'm saying go wherever God leads you. But there has to be something in your spirit, just like the centurion came to Christ and also the, uh, the, the father that came to, to, to Jesus and said, hey, can you come and pray for my daughter? There was a connection. God had sent them there on purpose to get in front of Jesus. And they, they put it all in to go see them. So when that connection happens, whomever the ministry or minister or church or, or whatever it is, just know this, that God will answer you if you come in by faith. Both those stories, they came in by faith. Both those stories, they came in and they had no doubt, no doubt that God was going to do something. No doubt that God was going to move in a miraculous way. No doubt that God was going to change things. They trusted God in every aspect and they went. Now I tell you this because it's important for you to know when you make that step, keep believing. When you make that step, keep believing. I'm sure on the way back with Jesus, this guy was like, yes, he's with me. Yes, my daughter's going to be healed. And they come and bring a bad report halfway or I don't know how long the journey was. And they said, don't bother the master anymore. I'm sure his heart sunk, his faith left him. But Jesus put his hand on his shoulder. And he said, don't worry. Got this. Let's go to your house. She just sleeps. And he had to have a lot of faith at that moment to trust that his daughter was just sleeping. That his daughter was just sleeping. He had to have a lot of faith at that moment. To know that God was with them. God was doing amazing things. And about to do amazing things in his house. So when you come out and you feel, hey, I didn't get my healing. I didn't get my, my healing on, on, on um, everything. When you, when, you, when, you, when you find out that God is with you regardless. 
Regardless, God is with you. Regardless, God is with you. Trust in his healing that is happening for you. Trust in his healing that is working on your behalf. Trust that his healing is there for you, even now. So many more people talk about, when I come back from break, we're going to talk about Lynn, my friend uh, from Florida. It was a unique situation. I, I want to make sure I have a full segment to that. But so many people have traveled um, to our services. Elizabeth, Elizabeth from Ohio, she flew in from Ohio just to come in. I don't know what part of Ohio, which I think Chicago maybe, and, and, and uh, flew in and seen and came to our service. Uh, amazing woman. She's just walking strong, Nigerian lady, and just waved at me and said, I'm here. And I, I shook her hand when she walked in. I go, you must be Elizabeth. And she goes, I am here. And she was she was amazing, amazing lady of faith. And she's been on cruises with our, our ministry. She's been to many of my events since. And it's just a good thing to see her faith lift because your faith needs to be ignited. We'll be right back in, in uh, just a few minutes. And uh, we'll be right back. God bless. We'll be right back. Hi, this is David Yannis. And I want to thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Today I want to offer you some very special collections of books that are mine personally that I want to give to you. I'm going to offer you Ignite Your Faith, the book that has been all over the world and has touched people all over the world. It's about healings, miracles, signs and wonders. I'm also going to offer you the CD Ignite Your Faith, which is not an audio book, but three healing services. These healing services have been anointed, and blessed, and recorded them in Sid Ross Studios, and many people have been blessed with testimonies of deliverance and healing. And I'm also going to offer you The Recruit, and Almost Out of Grace, my other two books. These are my first two books. Uh, the Recruit's about me when I was in the military and about divine revelation and miracles and healing while I was in there, intervention by God. And Almost Out of Grace is a book about relationships. And both men and women have been so blessed with it that it's touched their lives. We're going to offer this offer. It's called Ignite, offer number 148 for $50 or more. For $50 or more, we're going to send you all four products. You're going to be blessed with them. You're going to be encouraged with them. And most of all, you're going to help move this ministry forward. God bless you. Remember, you can go to our special website. You can go to give us a call or you can write us. Give us a call, go to our special website or write us. Include, if you write or call, mention 148 or write down 148 Ignite so we know which packs to send you. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Welcome back to our segment here on Ignite Your Day. We've been talking about coming to the Lord and seeing what God does. When you're called out to God, how God just pulls you in and, and how you are drawn, you are drawn, you are drawn to God. You're drawn to His the work that He has. And we just believe that God is able to change the things around you that are keeping you from hearing that draw or walking in that draw. We believe it to be completely put behind you in Jesus name but I was going to tell you about a story about Lynn my friend from Florida I've talked to her off and on since God did some miraculous thing uh, she suffered from I, I think uh, just uh, she was very oppressed and had panic attacks and she couldn't even drive far without being frustrated and scared she lives in Florida we're in Fort Lauderdale and and we're about to take off on a on a ministry cruise. We have these cruises and you might have seen the commercial already. Um, the cruises that we ignite your day on the cruise. It's called Ignite Your Next Wave. We we go out in the ocean. We visit a visit. Uh, we have um, the regular meals, of course, that they have and stuff. But we meet up once or twice during the day just to say hi. And but you enjoy the whole the whole cruise, the whole fellowship. It's all yours, and you enjoy, enjoy all the excursions. Um, but we, we do have a time that we pray at night, and if you want to come in, you can pray. No, we don't force anyone. And then um, we believe. So that cruise has grown a bit now, but at the time it was just six of us. And she couldn't get her husband to go on the cruise because of his school and his work. He works at, at a school, and it just wasn't the right timing for her. But I went ahead and I... I um. I believe that, that, that God was leading me to tell her what hotel we're staying at and if we can meet and we can pray that God, God will do some great things. So she decided to, to, to meet us. And I prayed with her with Pastor Jack and his wife and, and, and we believed that God was going to change things for her. Well, it took all day for her to just have the courage to drive in the traffic and get to where we're at. And we believe God was touching her and God ministered to her. Well, maybe I would say... Oh, 
maybe a, two weeks later, we get back from the cruise. I get a call from her that she said that she feels encouraged, that she feels that God is doing something, that, that things are changing in life, and she felt that God really touched her during that time that we were with her, and, and that she believes that she's healed. So she wanted to know when I was going to have my next service in my, my building in Humble, Texas. And I told her um, what the dates were. And she said, I'm going to try and make one of them. So she decided to make one of the, one of the dates. And as she decided to do one of the dates, she, um, she decided to come on her own. Now, she can't even drive and go around places without being nervous and all that. But she decided to, to go ahead and to travel to where we're at and to try and make it there and do the, do the, do, do the service, come to the service. Well, I arranged for her, um, someone to, to pick her up um, from, from the, um, I told her I arranged someone for her to pick her up from the, uh, from the airport, but she said she was fine. I was concerned, so we're having service and stuff, and she had the wildest ride. This cab driver didn't know where he was going, and took her in all the different places, even drove over mediums, and, and uh, she was scared to death. <laughs> but, but God is good. She came into the service. And she sat there, when I called her up there, she sat up there and she testified about how God had healed her, that it took even faith to go on an airport in an airplane and not be nervous, and that she believed that she was completely healed of this because she could actually come to the service and see God move, and that her, her hands were feeling better, that she was healed, her back was better, her mind was better, that God had healed it. But the nerves and, and, and the paranoia, it all seemed to have kind of left her. So that's exciting to see that Lynn story. So, um, of course, she fellowshiped with us and had we broke bread. Of course, told you make good food, and we had broke bread afterwards. And it, it was amazing to see this woman leave from Florida to Houston on a plane and excited, wasn't nervous, wasn't scared. She said every time those feelings came back, she fought it. But see, let me tell you this: it is again about coming to the place where the man of faith is, the woman of faith, where the anointing is. It's that connection you feel. Now, she's seen me on, I think, Sid Ross' episode. And the connection she felt with me that I just have to get in front of this person. Not because they believe that I have anything special more than anyone else, but just because God is sending them. Now, God does all the healing. God does all the miracles. God does everything and all the time. We don't worry about that. But this woman had faith that God was going to change some things for her, had to get in front of me, prayed for her, even met us at a hotel um, lobby area just to get prayed for and just prayed for her and she went on home and we went, on, we went on our cruise. God did an amazing thing for her just like he could do an amazing thing for you. Um, I did schedule my friend to take her back because I didn't want to go through a wild ride and, and let him take her back to the airport and, and he did. He was wonderful doing that for me. But other than that, I'm telling you, it's amazing to see the many people that have come to our services. Amazing to see them drive distances just to get in front of the Word of God, just to get in front of what God has. So I encourage you, if you see one of the healing services, I'm, out, I'm in Hawaii often. That's the other place I forgot to mention. I'm all over the islands of Hawaii twice a year. I'm in L.A. twice, at least twice a year. I'm in Nashville once a year. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Augusta, and Greenville at least twice a year. So, I mean, I'm investing in these areas, because I believe God's going to just use those as places for people to come and get prayed for. Miracles are going to happen. I don't have to be every place and every, every other place. It's impossible to be everywhere. It's very impossible to be. But I know God. I know God will show up wherever I'm at. So people will come. I'm there. And uh, I will see what God does and, and see how God does it. Amen. It's all about believing that God is able to. All about trusting that God can do it. All about understanding that if you get in front of His presence, no matter if it's me or someone else, whatever God draws you to, know, just like those two stories in the Bible, just like Lynn's story, just like all these other people that came to my events story. In fact, we had people fly from Hawaii. I mean, not from Hawaii. I was in Hawaii, in South Kona, and I had a, a ministry, of a lady and her husband flew from Phoenix, he got healed the first night in his shoulder. He called, he called his friend and had me pray over the phone for him. And, of course, the time difference and all. But he, he got healed in his shoulder. They had the same injury. They both got healed. His wife, by the end, by the end of our services in, the, in that church, I think we were there for three nights maybe, healed of Parkinson's. I reached, went to reach for the third time, a third service, and she stopped my hands. And she just grabbed them like this and held them. And she said, Pastor David... I want to tell you this. I remember the cloud is lifted. I remember yesterday. I remember the day before. I remember what I had. I remember the excitement 
of coming over here and being with you. I am fine. We've seen that Parkinson's healed in many people, many people across, across the globe. I believe it can be healed right now. So I'm just believing right now. Whatever you need, whatever you're seeking, come into the house of God. Come into the place where God has called you to come. Wherever you feel that connection, go to it. God will do it. Amen. God bless you. I pray that you're healed. I pray that you're delivered. I pray that anointing touches you even now. And that God's power is on you. That your family's fixed. Your job is well. And all things good are made. All things work to good for you. And all the impossibles happen in your life. Amen. God bless you. We'll catch you next time on the next show. We're excited just because we're here talking to you today. And we know that God's going to ignite your day. God bless you. Hi, this is David Yannis, and I want to thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Today I want to offer you some very special collections of books that are mine personally that I want to give to you. I want to offer you Ignite Your Faith, the book that has been all over the world and has touched people all over the world. It's about healings, miracles, signs and wonders. I'm also going to offer you the CD, Ignite Your Faith, which is not an audio book, but three healing services. These healing services have been anointed, blessed, and record them in Sid Ross Studios. And many people have been blessed with testimonies of deliverance and healing. And I'm also going to offer you The Recruit and Almost Out of Grace, my other two books. These are my first two books. Uh, the Recruit's about me when I was in the military and about divine revelation of miracles and healing while I was in there, intervention by God. And Almost Out of Grace is a book about relationships. And both men and women have been so blessed with it that it has touched their lives. We're going to offer this offer. It's called Ignite, offer number 148. For $50 or more. For $50 or more, we're going to send you all four products. You're going to be blessed with them. You're going to be encouraged with them. And most of all, you're going to help move this ministry forward. God bless you. Remember, you can go to our special website. You can go to give us a call or you can write us. Give us a call, go to our special website, or write us. Include 